Hi guys, this is Markeisha here to share with you guys my swap that I um, am in and it's the swap hosted by Betty who is Scrap Passion 01 and it's the Tammy's um, pocket full of embellishment swap and um, first off I would just like to say I had so much fun creating um, in this swap. Um, one being because it just kind of leaves you open to create whatever you would like to create. And so with these particular swaps, I'm always able to do things that um, maybe I haven't tried or I had on my to-do list to try. So, um, yeah, I had so much fun. So the paper line that I use for this is the k and Company Susan Winget paper. And um, my swap partner is Evelyn uh, here on YouTube. And um, Evelyn's YouTube channel channel is Evelyn0861 and I'll put a link down in the description box so you guys can go over and check her out and show her some love. So first I would like to just show you the um, box that I created and I'm going to put a before um, shot in so you guys can see the um, box that I used prior. Now, um, this box here, I have it without the embellishments in it, and I'll tell you why. Because when I started creating, I kind of um, wasn't really thinking about how bulky or how it's going to fit in. And so some of the items may not fit in or it's a tight fit, so I wanted to show you the box in its entirety first. So this is the box that I created, guys. I love it. I absolutely love how it turned out. Um, it is very sparkly. I have just an array of flowers here. I have a cameo, a cabochon. Um, I also have one of the prima birds nests here that I just got from Letty. Um, and some beautiful flowers. I have a string of pearls there. Some sprays here from Hobby Lobby. And uh, this is one of my favorite trims that I used here. I have the word inspire and this was one of the wood pieces from Michaels that I painted and then put some stickles on it. I have some really gorgeous little um, pink trim there and some flat back pearls and then the inside you see the trim, the flat back pearls on there. Love it. And I covered the entire box with that paper and you can really see that paper. So this paper is you know more of a spring floral um, type paper with shabby chic colors. And then this is the back. And so this is the Prima flowers and Prima um, Say It With Bling or Say It With Pearls. That gorgeous trim. These Both of these are one of my favorite trims. And that's in the cream color. And then here it is this way. And then this way. So I hope that she love it. And so I'll put that down so I can show you guys. Um, what I created. So, let me just show you the card that I created for her. And I tried to keep everything in the same family um, paper line. And so this is the card that I created for her. Again, very, very sparkly. Just some flowers here. Um, I have hello on it. Have some prima bling around it. Stickle the, the um, outside of the sentiment here. Lots of ephemera here. Um, I just put a little piece of that gorgeous lace. Then this is some Recollections pearls here. And then um, here is, you know, one of the... Um, this paper is a shimmery paper and I got it from Joann's and I embossed it. And then that's how the, the outside of the card look. And then the inside is um, you know just a mat and I use my little corner punches guys I found that in my drawer and I have had that forever so I was able to use what I got and uh, create this really fun cute card and I'll add my sentiment to it later oops oh in the back I just have you know my information and stuff on the back okay well that's not gonna stay up I see <laughs> okay so let's just get started so the first thing so we agreed on several things and um, 
One of the things we uh, agreed on was clothespins. And so these are the clothespins that I created for her. So lots of flower shimmer. I painted these clothespins. I put um, some of that paper line on there. And then I added stickles. I added some sprays here. I added, um, you know, flowers, recollections flowers, prima flowers. And then, you know, some little sprays. So I left that in. Um, I got this little piece here from some clothespins um, packaging that I already had. So I'll just stick that in there. Some of these I'll be able to stick in there. Some of them I won't. We, all, uh, we also agreed on some stick pins. And so this is the stick pins that I created. And what I did was I put it in like a little envelope here. And so here they are. And I'm not going to take them out, guys, because it takes forever to get them back in. But I hope you can see them. Um, this one here is, you know, just have a white flower, have some pink um, beads there at the bottom. This one has a pink butterfly on it, and it's a flower. And then this one is, you know, more of a brown color, and it has, I'm going to have to turn it around so you can see it. It has a little charm dangling on it. So it has a little tree on it, and these ha um, here are, you know, has little flowers on it. These, this one has a flower and has a little heart dangle on it. And I just put it in this little cute little envelope pouch here um, to house it. And then here is some resin pieces here, and I just used a um, mason jar die for this. And then I use corrugated board on the back. Okay. And then I wanted to get my hand and try making some altered buttons. So um, that's exactly what I did. Used another mason jar die. And here is the buttons that I created. These are spare part buttons. And I just used some little tiny embellishments to embellish these buttons. And so you have flowers, you have a little tea bag, you have string of pearls, keys, you name it. And that's what I use on that. So she can use uh, those buttons. And then um, I wanted to do some more buttons. And so these buttons here, um, I picked these up at Hobby Lobby. And... Uh, this one has fabric on it, these two has lace on it, and this one has Mod Podge paper, and this is from the paper line. So that's those buttons she can use. Then, I had so much fun creating these guys. These are some flower centers here. And this one is like a pearl and um, bling. And then this one is more of my shabby chic one that I created. And there are lots of tutorials on um, YouTube. And that's where I got this idea from. Um, some tutorials. And then this clothespin here was gifted to me. And this one was gifted from paper and stuff here on YouTube. And um, yeah, so I have these gorgeous flower centers that she can add to her projects. And then... Here is the second set, and this one has already popped off, but um, let me just pick it up and I can show you in my hand how it looks. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love how these turn out, and um, I'm thinking to myself, why will I go out and buy you know, some more when I can create these on my own? So um, this is how this one looks here, and then this is the other one here gorgeous look at that you can make these ladies and create these um, all by yourself so that is the um, flower centers that I created then I made her this really cute chunky charm and so I use this was a um, spare parts um, little ornate plate thing here and I cut out um, an oval shape from the paper line and added some glossy accent on it I painted it white I put a lobster clasp on it, put this little cute little bling uh, dangle there, and then this has just a variety of charms. There's a teapot, there's a little bling, um, here's another um, crystal, 
butterfly yeah so she has this little dangle charm here I also created these here and you guys know these these are the um, hot air balloons from um, I think it's recollection has these so I painted them and I added some flowers I added some uh, doily I cut a doily there and I added this is graphic 45 little um, what is this um, cutouts here ephemera and I um, added some glossy accents and then I added some stickles in it and so it kind of gave it a glossy or kind of like a mm, opaque look I wasn't really happy the way it turned out but I think it's okay and uh, again I just have a array of flowers here like a little bouquet and then I have a little butterfly on the top of that and so she can add this embellishment to her um, project then we also agreed on flowers and so I created these flowers I did a running stitch on both of these and just added a um, center to those and then this one here again um, this fabric I use from the fabric that I got in um, our thrifty haul and I added this little bicycle um, clip here on the top and some and some little um, wedding sprays in a center and so again that's a running stitch there and this one is from some really puffy uh, Webster's Pages ribbon and I um, added some center so these are two puffy flowers there and then these are some lace flowers that I created and I just added a ribbon buckle um, center to these two and so that is that one and then last but not least I created her this heart shape um, pillow here and um, I used some of the gorgeous applique on the top I put a ribbon here and some pearls some seam binding and some satin ribbon and this is the same fabric I used for this flower here is what I used on this um, here and so this is the back and so this is the uh, you know the um, heart shaped pillow of course this will not be able to fit in her um, thing so I'm gonna have to package that a little bit different and so I'm just gonna stick some you know lace pins in here and call it a day and so I will have a picture at the end with everything um, actually packed in here for you guys Evelyn thank you so much for being my swap partner Betty thank you for hosting this and of, of course Tammy thank you for the wonderful idea talk to you guys later bye